really quick and easy how you can set up uh, these uh, low-cost radios. Uh, one of the things that I do is I do a lot of Boy Scouts, and uh, that's kind of where my amateur radio came out of, was the fact that I kept going into the woods and going camping, and my cell phone service just wasn't there. And I said, you know, that's not really acceptable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I said, there's got to be a better way to do things. So I started kind of looking at some of the radios online and the cheapy little walkie-talkies. And then I came across these things called uh, Baofeng UV-82s. Do you guys own any of these? Well, almost everybody? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, raise your hand if you also use the Chirp software to already program it. Unlimited wind. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to quickly program this radio in less than five minutes, and you can put over a hundred stations in there and do quite a bit of different things with it. So I love these radios because they're about thirty dollars, and uh, it it really doesn't get any better than that when you're talking price point. Uh, and, and I think that's kind of the thing if we look at trying to bring in the younger generations of these Boy Scout age kids. You know, they, they don't really have like $1,000 to go buy an IH, HF system, uh, but they, they can get, you know, $30 to buy something like this and kind of get them uh, into the hobby. And so uh, what you do is uh, you can buy this. I buy them on Amazon. Uh, I have two of them here. And uh, then what you have to do is you have to buy a USB uh, cable that connects into this little guy. And uh, what this will allow you to do is actually program the radio instead of having to program it by hand. Uh, it's still a helpful skill to learn, but this is going to be much faster. And these cables here are about like five bucks online. So for 35 bucks, you're really opening up a whole new world of amateur radio. And then uh, what we do is we have to download uh, something called uh, prolific drivers. Uh, let me show you here. So there is a website called prolific.com uh, here, and you can. I'll send these slides out so everybody can have them. But if you go to this site here, that's where you can download the drivers so that your computer knows how to program the serial device here to program your radio. And uh, I just did a little screen recording of it so you can see what I do. When you log in here, you'll notice, I know the, the font doesn't show it as, as good, but it basically says type guest guest as username and password to log into this site. And so basically, here's the URL. It's the big blue font down at the bottom. Uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, type guest guest. That's what this line here tells you to do to log in. And uh, when you do that, that'll take you to the site here so that you can download the drivers. Uh, on the left-hand side, you'll notice over here what you want to get to is something called USB serial because you're using a serial cable to actually program. Uh, they make a couple different drivers. And uh, you'll see over here it's these uh, 2303s, and then you just have to pick the right computer system. If you're on a Windows versus a Mac versus a Linux, you know, choose appropriately. So once you get that installed on your computer here, the next thing you need to do is go download this application <coughs> called Chirp. And this is also free, right? And basically this is an open source tool to go and and download all the repeaters and other frequencies. So once you download it and install this on your computer, here's what you'll get to see. You'll see that you can uh, open stock configurations. This is phenomenal. All those GMRS, FRS, MERS radios, <clears throat> those cheapy walkie-talkies, you can download all of those frequencies and put them on your radio here. Uh, and we'll show that over here in just a second. The other thing that's a little tricky is you can import and, and uh, upload to your radio. So the first thing that you'll do is once you plug this cable into your computer into your, your radio, you got to make sure your radio's on. That's the, the first stupid step I often forget. Uh, but then you'll go download from the radio. And uh, from here, it'll say, hey, what port are you, you, are you using? So you make sure it's the correct port. Um, I'm using a Baofeng, 
But you'll notice Bale things are also licensed under another name called Po Fung. Uh, maybe I'm not saying that I don't speak the greatest Chinese, but that's how I pronounce it. And this is the UV82. And I hit OK. And honestly, it's not common that this works on the first time. Normally, it will actually say cannot find the device. And if you do the exact same thing here again, here and go radio download from radio and then hit OK, then it normally works for me on the second time. <laughs> I, I find what, what happens is it's kind of like my kids. The first time I have to say, hey, are you listening? And, and it kind of has to wake up out of a sleep state. And then the second time, <laughs> it always answers and then it shows uh, exactly what's on here. So mm -hmm. here's just a simple way of how I, I set up my my uh, call frequencies. I'm not saying this is how everyone has to do it, but this is just what I find is useful. On the first two channels here, I put the, the call frequencies. So I have the two meters call, uh, and I have the 70 centimeter call right under here. The next thing that I use a lot is APRS. Do you guys use APRS at all? Anybody never heard of APRS? So APRS is like GPS, over ham radio. Essentially what you can do is you can take your GPS signal and uh, I'll show you this later on tonight and how I do it and you can send that through your radio up to these uh, I gate uh, re listening repeaters and then it's kind of like having a black box on a plane where you can transmit your location and uh, I use this all the time for like if I'm hiking in the woods and I have no cell phone where they can know where to find my dead body, where I'm at or, <laughs> you know, or, or, or wherever I am. Uh, and then from here... Where's the GPS originally? Um, actually, I'll show you this an here. External unit? I use my phone. Okay. And then from here, what I do is uh, I have another device um, called uh, a mobile link D that basically syncs via Bluetooth from my phone and it plugs straight into my radio. And I'll show you that tonight in a little more detail. Um, but what I wanna focus on here is just how quick and easy it is to upload frequencies to your radio. So the first thing that you can do is you can go radio, import from data source, and repeater book is the one you're gonna to wanna to go to. It just goes to the repeaterbook.com website. Uh, but what you can do here is you can choose the state and the county. So let's say, for example, most of us probably live in, in uh, Fairfax County. So if we go over here in uh, Fairfax County, just a little bit, boom, and then we say, okay. What should happen here, and uh, sorry, it's a little slow because it's using my... Uh, uh, my phone's internet connection is it'll say here's all the the publicly registered repeaters in the area and so it can say how do you want to program these over the frequencies on your phone so what I normally do is I always come over here and uh, I I figure out which ones look good so you notice this first one here um, it doesn't really allow you to check it for some reason but uh, some of these, like this number 10, it's totally not in the frequency of your radio, right? Because this is a 2 meter or a 70 centimeter band. So the fact is it's never going to get this 1200 uh, megahertz uh, repeater in the area. But what you can do is you can do select all and then you can auto them because right now it's starting at frequency number 2, uh, I'm sorry, so it would put it in your number two slot on your phone. And what we want to do is we're going to hit auto. And then from here, let's say I wanted to start at number 25 on my phone and start appending after 25, right? All I would do is see here how now it starts on zero. We're going to go up and go one, two. And so that made it go to number 20. But then I said we're going to number 25, right? So one, two, three, four, five. And now it's gonna put all of these frequencies in to my phone in order starting from number 25 as soon as I hit okay. And so if I go over here, and we'll see this over here starting on number 25, I have uh, the frequencies coming in. Um, and it's very simple. You can also do this uh, as, as well. Um, you can 
add more rows. You can it you can use as many rows as your your device allows. I want to say this does like about 150 slots on here, give or take. Um, the other thing that's really helpful, like I said, is this open stock frequencies. So look at all these really good ones that are in here. You get MERS channels, so all those uh, radios that go up to about two watts, um, these are ones that anybody can buy. You can get those frequencies on your radios, and you'll see, oh, as soon as it'll open this tab here, and we'll get some of the other ones here going too. Uh, the other ones that are really popular are GMRS and FRS, and uh, Not clicking it here. Does it have a pop-up open? Yeah, it's not. Is it possible that it uh, says uh, that radio won't tune to that these frequencies? Mm -hmm. No, because I have them already programmed on oh. on here before. Um, Sorry. Oh. Yeah, it's being difficult here. But I think I think you have a pop-up open. Uh, behind it. Yeah, underneath. Oh, you're right. There we go. So here, these are the four frequencies, or I guess five frequencies from MERS. Um, just like an Excel spreadsheet, right? You can take and go shift, you know, copy these, right click, copy, and then go over in here. And then you can go paste, and it'll just paste them right in there. So really simple way. I mean, we just saw how we could add those in there. We could do the same thing for all our FRS, GMRS channels. And then, you know, really just use this, uh, this repeater book and start adding all of the counties that we need. So if we say, hey, we got Fairfax County, maybe we want Arlington or Loudoun County, it's just go in here, click and play. And so doing something like this, I can normally knock this out in about five minutes and I put in about a hundred different channels. And then what's simple is uh, just like an Excel spreadsheet, you can uh, save, save as this, uh, this um, image file is what it does. But then uh, we did this uh, for one of our earlier things where we bought about 30 of these different radios. And since I already had the config all set up and they were all the same radios, then I could just, you know, upload them fairly quickly. And we had, you know, 30 different radios, all with every frequency from Arlington County, uh, from Loudoun, from Fairfax, with all the base frequencies that you could sell to new kids or new people coming to the hobby. So now they don't even have to learn how to program the radio because it's all set up for them. And uh, for you to manually do that by hand would have taken a very, very long time. So I love it, it's free, it's fast, it's easy, and I think it's something that's really valuable uh, to learn how to do. Great, sounds good. Yeah, any questions? Thank you very much. <laughs>